Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah. And this video is all about how people celebrate Halloween around the world. So it's Halloween in a few days and we thought we'd make a video all about culture, tradition, Halloween things. Yeah. Will you be celebrating? No. I don't think I will either. No. <laughs> so both a bit like fun suckers there. Um, we are interested in how other cultures, other countries, if they are celebrating mm. Halloween, and if definitely. so, how. Yeah. So should we just uh, talk a little bit about the UK firstly? Yeah, definitely. Similarly to the States, the United States, um, we celebrate Halloween here by dressing up, mm -hmm. knocking on doors, trick-or-treating, carving pumpkins. Yeah. Um, it's general spookiness. Yeah. But not everyone goes for it. No. I feel like from what I've seen, Americans really go for yeah, it. Yeah, literally. That, even when I was in America in September, everything was decked out for Halloween. No. All the shops had Halloween stuff in to buy. All the candy was out already. Like, no way. Everything. Like, Americans fully go for it. Even some houses. We went past this house and its whole garden was full of Halloween decorations. I'm like, it's the 10th of September. Oh my gosh. But in the UK, we don't tend to go for it in the same way, do we? No, I think as well, similar, similarly to Christmas, mm. I'm, similarly, um, it's a money thing here. Mm. Like if you've got loads of money, then maybe you'll like spend loads of money on electricity, lighting up your whole house or, yeah. it, or something. But we just don't do it here. No. Unless we're kind of showing off in the neighborhood. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like Christmas is just as big here as there. But in Halloween, like, nowhere really decorates, like, oh, yeah, places do. Maybe some, yeah. like, restaurants and stuff, possibly. But yeah. personally, I find it gross. If a, ha if a restaurant has got, like, pumpkins with fake cobwebs over it, I'm a bit like, that's unhygienic. <laughs> that's so funny. But it's all fun, isn't Essentially, it? it's just a bit of a marketing thing that people use. Like, mm. bars and pubs and stuff will just use it as a way of, like, create a good night out to get yeah. people out of their house and spending money there. Yeah. So the UK does sort of like capitalize on it because it's a, essentially is a trend. Yeah. And actually, I, there's a really interesting video of another YouTuber called Lex. I'll link her video down below. She was talking about the commercialization of autumn. Oh, and yeah. she was saying now people have capitalized on autumn colors like oranges and, and rich burnt yellows orange. and burnt orange and like blankets and these things. And they've now is the time of year between Halloween and Christmas that people start marketing blankets and woolen jumpers and candles and all these things because they yeah. want people to buy it and it's like they've even capitalised on the C's good. That's so funny, it's so true, like people love autumn. It's one of my favourite months but... People guaranteed spend the most money from now up until Christmas. Oh literally. And they do in the entire year. I dread it, don't you? You're like, oh, oh no, I've got so coming. much money to spend. So <laughs> This is why every year it's just kind of like, oh, I'm not doing Christmas presents this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Halloween. Yeah. Um, the UK, I say it's kind of split down the middle. Some people go for it fully. Some people don't bother. Mm -hmm. My family, we used to just hide in the house. If people mm -hmm. were knocking on the door, we'd like hide from them. We were saying, my parents would draw the curtains. They'd be like, we're not answering the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it's inconvenient. Also, when you do answer the door, like it's really, I find it really cringe. Mm. Also, you let all the cold in. So I sound like <laughs> such a granny. We, we, mum would have to go into the like cupboard and find an old biscuit or something. Yeah. And give them like the crappiest thing. Oh, definitely. It's definitely helpful when never... mum has forgotten it's Halloween and opened the door and been like, oh, now I've got to find something in the cupboard. <laughs> You go into a sweet cupboard and you're like, oh my god, an mm. out of date after eight. Why like, should we? Why, why should, should we have to give free sweet chocolate? things to strangers? Yeah. Buy say, your own. Buy your own. <laughs> Stop eating Tell you sweets. what. Stop eating sweets altogether. Yeah. Or just don't go down to the shops, buy a chocolate bar. Save you all the hassle of walking down the street, knocking on doors. Imagine if someone just got a broccoli and a knife and just chopped it up into their basket. That every so time like, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a vegetable. Every time a kid walks in, you throw him a carrot stick. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> anyway, we've been looking into how different countries and cultures celebrate Halloween and if they do or not. So we thought we'd share those with you because we found them quite interesting. Yes. So aside from the UK, let's start off with China. So the Chinese actually celebrate Halloween in July and they don't call it Halloween. They call it the Hungry Ghost Festival. Which yeah. I think it's really sweet. It is really sweet. They probably, they obviously say it in their language. <laughs> <laughs> they it translates as the Hungry Ghost Festival. Which yeah. Is nice. But they celebrate the returning of the dead to earth who come here, ghosts come here looking for nourishment and entertainment. So one of the things that Chinese people don't do is swim. 
on Halloween because no. they're afraid of drowning. Yeah, I mean, it's sensible. I don't yeah. blame them. Yeah, avoid water. Avoid all water <laughs> and avoid being on your own. Yeah, yeah. Going out together. Oh, definitely. If you're in a group, the ghosts won't hurt you, but if you're on your own or if you're in water, they might attack, so... I'm a little bit like that on Friday the 13th. I don't really like being on my own. So We've got Friday the 13th note, coming up. I'm yeah. getting my eyes lasered. And they were like, so we've got the th Friday the 13th. And she was like, if you're not superstitious. And I'm not superstitious, but I was like, um, maybe I'll go for another day. <laughs> <laughs> superstition. Mm -hmm. Very superstition. The next one is Mexico. Now, Mexico actually take it a little bit further than <laughs> everyone else. And they have a three-day celebration for Halloween starting on the 31st of October. And they call it the Day of the Dead, even though it's three days. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> odd. But similarly to China, they believe the returning of the dead to Earth, but they sort of celebrate the fact that family members might be coming back from the dead down to Earth, and they will sort of have altars full of flowers and photographs and food just to welcome them home. Yeah, so sort of like a sign of respect, I guess, for yeah. deceased family members mm -hmm. and friends. It's Essentially, it's like a celebration of life. Yeah. But it's got the spooky feel around it. Yeah, definitely. So it's kind of like Adam's family. And yeah. like if you're into all that kind of... Not horror, but, you know... But spookiness. Spookiness. But also the Day of the Dead, that's the beginning of the latest... Uh, James Bond film, Spectre. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. But it starts in Mexico, doesn't it, with yeah. the Day of the Death Festival. That's really oh, cool. Yeah, that is cool. That's where we should go. Yeah. To Mexico. 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 I would love to go to Mexico. Yeah, me too. I'll be boiling It's such a cool holiday. Mm. Work holiday. Business. Work. Business, 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 business. So how do you say the Day of the Dead in Mexico? I think it's El Dia de los Muertos. I, they say muertos or something, but I can't roll my R's. Muer, muertos. El día de los muertos. And this is why we don't learn languages. Yes. <laughs> Very <laughs> difficult. Moving on. So, in Austria, mm -hmm. they don't celebrate really, they just go to bed. <laughs> they just They just head go to bed. To bed. <laughs> but they do leave the dining table uh, laid out with a mm -hmm. lamp, some bread, um, food and water and hope that um, the flowers and stuff will invite uh, deceased family members back yeah. into their home. Which I think it sounds really sad. It does sound really sad. Especially as I am was brought up, brought up Greek Orthodox and they don't at all believe in contacting the dead mm. or trying to make connection with deceased family members. Mm. It's like let the dead rest, mm. don't try disturb them to and... disturb them. They don't yeah. think it's a recipe for anything good. No. And it's not, you know, it's not unusual that cont contacting the dead is associated with like spookiness and horror. Yeah. I mean, it's not a made up thing, is it? It's no. like obviously connected yeah. because it's the unknown, the world of the unknown. Definitely. So, um, you know, I can't exactly say I'd feel very comfortable. No. Is leaving out all the offerings for no. someone to come back and me go and lie in bed and hope yeah. for the best. It's just scary. I'm sensing a bit of a theme here with these countries that they, yeah. they want their relatives back coming from the dead. Yeah, exactly. So the Japanese... So the Japanese don't actually celebrate Halloween per se. <laughs> but they but... do have the Obon, Obon? Yeah. Obon Festival, mm -hmm. um, which goes on for... Just the day, I think. But they celebrate it by lighting lanterns. You might have seen pictures of this before. Lighting paper lanterns and sending them floating down rivers because then they believe that dead spirits will see the lanterns and come guiding back home down the river and into the cities and stuff. I, I mean, that's more a creative way than just setting yeah. the table, isn't it? And yeah. just hoping for the best. <laughs> At least the, the Japanese go and get some lanterns and stuff. Yeah. It's really sweet. It looks nice. Yeah. So one way of saying it is apparently Matsuri. 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 The next way is... Urabon. Urabon. Which does sound a little bit like the sushi we made. Yeah, it does. It U just Uramaki. sounds like sushi. Yeah. Uramaki. Uramaki. <laughs> mm, if you haven't seen our sushi video, click the link below. <laughs> um, um, but those are just a few countries. Obviously, there are many more ways to celebrate Halloween than that. But we just thought it was interesting to see some different cultures than the UK or yeah. the US. It's really nice to hear about it because all we ever do is sort of carve out a I was about to say pineapple. <laughs> All we do is carve out a pumpkin yeah. and uh, make a scary face, light it, and then, you know, maybe use the inside, the flesh, for the soup. Yeah. 
And that's about as exciting as Halloween's going to be for my family. Yeah, I prefer bonfire night. I can't oh. wait for bonfire night. Isn't that really close to Halloween? Yeah, 5th of November. Remember, remember the 5th of 5th November. November. Bonfire Fireworks. night. Oh, that's so much more fun. Isn't it's it? It's cosy. You smell of bonfire. Yeah. All your clothes stink. In a Sparklers. Nice way. By the way, we're having friends over to watch fireworks in the park, and then we're gonna have like hot dogs, nachos, chili. Oh my god, really? Like, yes, if you wanna come. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, you're invited. You're all invited as well. I'd love that. Yeah, it'd be absolutely lovely. And it's gonna be cold, and we'll wear our jackets, jackets. and coats, and we'll have gloves, and it'll be so, so nice. nice. Oh, thanks for the invite, That's Joel. All right. Okay, let's end the video. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to this channel for more content like this, but also loads of other stuff. Yeah. And um, we've also got a Patreon page if you'd like to support us outside of YouTube mm -hmm. in order to make better content and some extra perks, which you can find out below in the description. Yeah, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.